Welcome to 2 plus 0 dash cooking and we are making par-cooked bacon today. If you've never made par-cooked bacon before, then stick around. Hello, my name is Beef, and if this is your first time here, thank you for stopping by. I make small tasty recipes for me and my plus one out of our tiny apartment kitchen. Our recipes are small, easy on the budget, and easily scalable for more servings. We post new videos every week, so just hit that subscribe button to be notified of our next tasty video. So let's get going on this par-cooked bacon. Well, it's time again to make par-cooked bacon. Our last batch of par-cooked bacon lasted three months. Today I have another two pounds of Farmer John's thick cut hardwood smoked bacon. These two packages cost us $12.49 plus tax at Food for Less here in Fremont, California. Well, what is par-cooked bacon? Par-cooked bacon is bacon that is partially cooked. I have four good reasons why we make par-cooked bacon. We have bacon ready for any of our meals in one to three minutes. Most of the heavy greasy mess was done during the par-cooked bacon process. We actually eat less bacon. In the past, making bacon was a commitment. So if I made bacon, then I always made extra. And we ate the extra bacon. Now we can portion our bacon exactly. In the past, I used to cook bacon the way we like to eat it. So much of the fat is gone. When the bacon was reheated on the stove away later on, then the bacon would have very little fat in it and would taste like burnt cardboard. So let's get going on this par-cooked bacon. We'll start by cutting the slices of bacon in half for easy portioning and easy storage. At the stove, we have our tools at the ready. My trusty tong, a plate of bacon, a plate for the par-cooked bacon after it's cooked, an 11-inch stainless steel frying pan with two 8-inch flat aluminum pot covers. There is also a two-quart stainless steel aluminum clad saucepan, a wire strainer, with a coffee filter. I have a sturdy dessert spatula off screen for scraping the pan. So let's get going. The frying pan is hot at 180 degrees. I'm only putting enough bacon in the frying pan that my 8 inch pot cover can hold down. The pot cover will keep the bacon flat ensuring even cooking and reduce the splattering of grease. After 3-5 to five minutes I will turn the bacon. I want very little browning and absolutely no crispiness to the meat. The bacon should be very flimsy. Remove the bacon to the resting plate. The resting plate doesn't have any paper towel or rack for the grease. We want the grease. The grease has the flavor. Cover the cooked bacon with a flat pot cover. This will keep the bacon flat as it cools. And then repeat this cooking process with the rest of the bacon. This bacon is perfectly par cooked. At some point, the depth of the grease in the pan will start to get near the bottom of the pot cover, so it's time to drain the grease. Slowly and carefully pour your grease through the strainer and coffee filter into the two-quart pan. Then set the two-quart pan on a nearby burner so it can cool. I have a sturdy dessert spatula to scrape the excess burnt grease off the pan. Just scrape some of the loose stuff off and continue cooking. We are done with the bacon. Turn off the heat. Drain the final grease as before. You want all the grease out of the pan. You can scrape the pan with a sturdy spatula to clean it while the pan is hot. But that's a lot of work. Just allow the pan to cool a little. What I normally do is I'll sprinkle some water onto the pan. And if there's barely any steam coming off those water droplets, then I know the pan is cooled off. And then what I'll do is I'll take a cup of soapy water and pour it into the pan and then turn the heat back up to one-third power. That's right, we're going to be cooking some soapy water. When I see a little steam coming off the soapy water, then I use whatever metal spatula I have and scrape off the burnt material off the frying pan. Easy peasy. Drain the pan into a pot on your stove. Keep in mind the soapy water is hot but your frying pan will be super easy to clean. No scrubbing required. Here is some perfect par-cooked bacon. All that's left to do is package bacon freezing. I used the quart freezer bag the last time since our freezer was full, but I'm going to place it into a lidded plastic container this time. It will make removing the bacon easier when it comes time to use it. 
I'm jarring the bacon fat for storage in the refrigerator for use in my other dishes. A quarter teaspoon of bacon fat goes a long way to adding flavor to your dishes. I'll label it and date it. If you prefer, you can chill your bacon fat in a bowl, then transfer it to a plastic freezer bag, and then store it in the freezer or dispose of it in accordance with your local laws. Here we go! I'm going to show you an example of how you use par-cooked bacon, especially in the morning. It's absolutely great. So, I have an egg here. It's been sitting out for about 30 minutes. And we're just going to do an egg McMuffin type sandwich for my plus one. I got some muffins here. I'm going to go ahead and put them in the toaster. I have her ring here for making the egg. We're going to go ahead and put that egg in here first. So there's a little salt, a little pepper, got the slid. Remember this? <laughs> yeah, this is the next day. So the bacon's nice and frozen here. Put two pieces down. Put this bad boy back in the fridge. Go ahead and turn this bacon. And unlike making the par cooked bacon, you can use just one pan. And that's what's nice about this. Cleanup's easy. If you want to cook your bacon first, the bacon itself will help you grease your pan see how this egg's coming along. Oh yeah, she's almost ready to go. All I'm doing is just waiting on the toast. I hope that ring is set. Yep, it's set. Get her egg on there. Bacon. Pat it down. And this is the to go sandwich for my plus one in the morning if she's on the run. Five dollars, please. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys give this a try. And until next time, adios amigos. Thank you so much for watching this video of making par cooked bacon. If you like this video, then please like us below. There are also links on the screen for other 2 plus 0 dash cooking recipes. Remember to subscribe and you'll be notified of new videos every week. And also please visit our website, 2 plus 0 dash cooking.com. If you have any comments or ideas, then please post them below. We love hearing from our viewers and answering their questions. Thank you for watching. Looking forward to hearing from you and see you soon. Be Foul. As always, just because I'm done cooking after this recipe doesn't mean our kitchen is closed. Following our images for a future meal for me and my plus one.